Welcome, citizens of the verse, Valsim here. After a week off, I'm happy to be back. Today, I will take you on a journey through the vast expanse of Star Citizen and I will test the Master Mods in Arena Commander. This is my first test and play with Master Mods. I want to see how this is working and most important, I want to test and see whether the Master Mod settings will be of any benefit to me on average pilot or there is no difference compared to the actual settings. I will make a full test playing Master Mods Pirate Swarm and I will give you my feeling about the Master Mods and whether that will help me to do any future dogfighting on a more easy way and that will fill the gap I have as an average pilot during a PvE fight. Are you ready? Let's dive in. So, what's Master Mods? without entering in any technical details. Do not forget, I'm just an average pilot. So, I will try to explain you what I know and how I think master mods should be used. If the information is not complete, please feel free to add more details in the comments below, which will help not only me, but also other players that are on the same average level. There are two possible master mods. SM mod and NAV mod. You can switch between both modes by using the B key on your keyboard. The first important thing to say is that the switch between both modes is not happening immediately and that there is a charging time. On the left top side of uh, your hood above the speed indicator there is a new information which is mentioning in which master mode you are at the moment. Here in Arena Commander, by default, you start in SM mode. By pressing B, I'm switching to NAV mode and as you can see, the NAV mode text is in red for a couple of seconds, the charging time. And during this time, you are between both master modes and you cannot do much. This I suppose to prevent some pilots to use it too often to their advantage by switching during a uh, ship combat, since the main idea of the master mods is to allow better dogfighting and to equalize the forces of the players and allow more pilots to enter a dogfight even if they are not a very skilled pilot. Which is a very good point, especially if you are as me an average pilot who is avoiding any PvP and is not always on top during the PvE ship fight. While in SM mod the big restriction you have is your speed. You see here with the constellation I'm blocked at the maximum speed of about 200. I have my shields and weapons on, so in short the SAM mode is the same like we know the system now, only your maximum speed is blocked, limited to a very low maximum speed. While in NAV mode you get back your full speed, here I can go over 1000 with the constellation, but if you look more closely you will see that when in NAV mode you do not have at all shields and you do not have weapons, so those both components are blocked for use when in NAV mode. Let's start now with my test and first use of the master mods in the master mods pirate swarm. The party started and uh, the first impression I have is that the targeting is happening automatically. Uh, it is my feeling because uh, I should not push any button in order to, uh, to have my first uh, target. In fact, when you are watching a target, the system is targeting targeting it automatically for you. So you see we're having a gladius here and uh, the pip now uh, it's a circle and uh, the circle became green uh, when you are aiming uh, correctly. Okay, in the beginning I'm not so good, eh? I'm still trying to understand how how this is uh, is working so now we are having an uh, f7 set super hornet and the hits i think are 
are much bigger or better shown on the screen because you see that uh, I'm hitting quite well so this is a plus because I have not really to turn or do uh, quick moves in order to uh, to hit my target So, let's continue with the next ship, which is a Buccaneer. I think that the fact that the speed is blocked and is lower in SAM mode helps to have more easy aiming and you can get better hits on the opponent ship. The same however is valid also for the other pilot if you are in PvP fight and he will be able to hit you better. We are now at level 5 so getting bigger ships like now the Vanguard my shields are hit but I'm hitting back pretty good and uh, I must say I'm uh, positively surprised how quickly I destroyed the Vanguard also a Merlin F-52 snap fighter can be now hit if in SAM mode and as you, you see can be destroyed very quickly I'm passing quickly through wave 7 where I had several Gladius ships which even in master modes are not easy to hit. I tried but without big success. So keep trying, keep trying. With uh, wave 9 uh, as you can see uh, I'm getting bigger ships here and constellation Andromeda. So uh, let's see how this uh, will work now. I'm hitting quite well and I'm keeping um, the let's say the normal distance I'm used in the dog fighting uh, between one and uh, two kilometers from the target and I have quite uh, quite good hits uh, I'm hit back but uh, okay I'm still yeah. keeping and definitely the I like the animation uh, where we have the hits you can really see them and I can you see here even close the gap going uh, under the thousand meters which before I never uh, I never did or I was not able to to do because of the uh, of the speed so the hits are quite quite good and normally uh, I think that uh, I will hit it deadly uh, very very soon so that's a very positive yes uh, hit it's done so uh, definitely it's much more easier with uh, with bigger ships uh, to hit with uh, master mode now uh, wave 10 what we have I have also again a constellation Andromeda but wow that's nice you see I'm, I'm really very very close to the ship and I can hit and see where I'm hitting that's that's nice and rewarding because then really you can feel the battle and you can hit the the ships i found that that's very uh, very nice and it's a uh, much better uh, with master mode than with the actual uh, system you see really where you can hit your target maybe this is the case because the ship is bigger and you can see better but i'm all the time under the thousand meters which before it was not possible quite a lot of hits from both sides and anyway with the help of uh, my game partner here we could finish the constellation jumping now on uh, wave 12 which I think is uh, a combination of all waves until now because uh, we have all the ships from the beginning like here the P-52 Merlin but they are all here and they are quite uh, quite a lot which is uh, a good challenge and you see I'm hit it quite quite a lot so uh, it's a very uh, you know hectic from my point of view battle here so just let's try to hit as much as possible having again a gladius I don't think so I will be very good here but let's let's try and uh, there is some other ships flying around uh, so let's concentrate on the uh, gladius and i try to hit i'm yeah 
I'll hit it back and have some damage. So normally the Andromeda will, will keep it. Yeah, destroyed. Good. And we have again an uh, Andromeda against us. So let's concentrate there. Yes. And uh, getting good hits. So that will be done. I think quickly and I'm not alone. Somebody else is hitting the Andromeda. A little bit more. That's good. In fact, I have much more easier to hit the bigger ships. Uh, that's uh, that's obvious. And good hit. And now I hope to be able to get some repair. Yes. In order to prepare for the last objective, which is to survive and wave 13. And for the last wave number 13, we have a hammerhead. Nice. Let's see what we will do here. You get better hits and it is much easier to hit, of course, it's a big ship. I'm not very close, 1.8 kilometers. Maybe next time I have to try to to go closer. But anyway, I have uh, nice hits. I'm hit it back. Uh, normally it's a question, you know, to, mm, to survive. What I think that I'm doing still the same uh, mistake that I'm not moving and um, that's something that uh, I think that should be uh, better if I move a little bit but okay here we are hitting quite well the, the Homer head so it's a question of some time uh, that is it's killed because the hits are quite quite easy to to have and it is the lies the last tank okay nice killed and we survived with the with the victory destroyed the hammerhead and i have 23 kills and zero deaths that's very nice for a first try i hope you liked my recording and learned something which will help you using the master modes in arena commander or when in game in more easy and efficient way if you liked what you saw, please push the button and subscribe to my channel. This is a new and very small channel, so any additional support from you will be very much appreciated and will help develop the channel and allow me to continue making new recordings for you. Thank you. Master Mods will be introduced with the upcoming huge patch 3.23. When this will happen? nobody knows and there are various speculations i hope that this will be somewhere in 2024 if you guys have more accurate information when the patch 3.23 will be dropped i will be more than happy if you share it with me in the comments down below as always i will try to cover as much as possible new content or missions from the point of view of an average player in order to help you play star citizen in more easy and fun way Hope to see you again soon. All the best. Take care.